Hey everyone, welcome back. If you're planning to set up a home server or a NAS system, you've probably come across Zema OS and Casa OS. In this video, I'll break them down, show you the pros and cons, and help you decide which one suits your needs best. Let's dive in. First up, Casa OS. This isn't a full operating system on its own. It looks more like a lightweight interface that runs on top of Linux distributions like Debian or Ubuntu. It gives you a clean, modern dashboard, an easy way to manage files and apps, and a built-in app store for Docker-based software. It supports both x86 and ARM devices, including the Raspberry Pi. That makes it great for beginners or anyone looking for a plug-and-play setup. But it does have some limits. There's no native support for RAID setups or virtualization, and system updates or deeper settings still have to be handled through the Linux base underneath. Now let's talk Zima OS. Unlike Casa, this is a full standalone operating system built specifically for NAS and storage servers. It's based on Debian, but it comes with more advanced tools right out of the box. It has built-in RAID configuration, a virtualization system called ZVM, and easy one-click system updates. It's also tightly optimized for x86 systems with UEFI. Zima OS gives you a complete and powerful experience. The downside is that it doesn't support ARM devices, and it's more of a full ecosystem, so it's less customizable. So, which one should you choose? If you're just starting out or using older or low-powered hardware like a Raspberry Pi, Casa OS is a solid option. But, if you're building a high-performance NAS on x86 hardware and need features like RAID and virtualization, Zima OS is the better choice. Let me know in the comments which one you're going with. And if you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more videos like this.